A very good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for this um, press conference with Carl Verena. Um, just a reminder, please, everyone, to um, ensure that your monitors are muted and that um, when you do ask your question, you put your request to ask a question on the chat panel, and that's how we'll, we'll, we'll kick things on. Um, a reminder also, please, to ask one question at a time, and then we'll circle back um, if the opportunity presents itself. Is there anybody who'd like to kick us off this morning? Thanks, Dennis. How's it, Carl? Um I just want to know, firstly, how it's been uh, to be with the uh, Proteas again, and um, what would you personally like to get out of this series against the Netherlands? Um, yeah, it's obviously quite exciting every time you get to join the, the Proteas camp. Um, I think the environment's in, in quite a good space. I think the boys had, had quite a good World Cup, so it's quite nice to come into this environment again and just uh, yeah, be part of it. Um, for me personally, I think... Uh, the main thing about about uh, the series is just hopefully to get some game time and uh, yeah, if I'm fortunate enough to do so, then just uh, put some performances in that'll hopefully um, sort of uh, get myself, I wouldn't say get myself a spot going forward, but just sort of uh, use it as a platform to show what I'm about and, and yeah, I'll hopefully use this bit of uh, consistent game time to um, yeah, sort of cement my place. Uh, if not in the starting 11 going forward, at least as a sort of permanent squad member uh, for the next couple of series. Can you, sir? Um, Kyle, good morning and good morning to everyone else. Um, how tough is it cracking a spot um, in the Proteus men's team considering um, the plethora of top order options and even middle order options um, that are available in the team? Um, yeah, I think it's it's obviously always challenging to get a, I mean, firstly, just to get a call up, you've got to put in a lot of performances domestically. Um, and then, yeah, once you're in the setup, I think to get a get a spot, a sort of permanent uh, spot in the in the lineup is quite challenging. Um, but that's a good thing. I think it's always good when there's, what, six or seven guys competing for, for five spots. So um, it is quite challenging. Uh, but fortunately, a series like this where they're resting some of the um, sort of big boys, if you want to put it that way, it gives gives the likes of myself an opportunity to um, hopefully sort of uh, stake a claim. But yeah, it is quite challenging. Uh, but I mean, that's why it's, it's the national side and international cricket. So um, yeah, it's, it's always good when, when there's competition for spots. Um, good morning, Kyle, and good morning to colleagues. Yeah. Kyle, um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, the Netherlands is not is one of the so-called smaller, uh, you know, countries or, or cricket nations. Um, how do you, uh, you know, as a player individually, sort of cycle yourself up uh, to to play against them? Is it easy or is it difficult to to sort of prepare yourself for to play against them? I think um, with the with the I'm not sure what it's called for, but the points for the World Cup qualification. Um, up for grabs. I think any series, no matter who it's against, it's quite easy to get yourself sort of psyched up and and you know, understand the importance of it. Um, and regarding the Netherlands, I don't think we seen them as a sort of weak opposition or anything like that. Uh, I mean, we saw in Ireland they were a so-called weaker team, and in the first or well, second game uh, they beat us quite convincingly. So um, we're definitely not uh, sort of sitting back thinking it's going to be an easy task, um, and especially like I mentioned with. Uh, points up for grabs for for qualification for the 2023 World Cup. I think um, any series you play in is is really important, and yeah, that's that's more than enough to get us um, get us going. Stu. Uh, hi, hi, Kyle. Thanks, Supervisor. Um, I guess sort of a follow up to that is. Um, how, how do you how do you get the balance right between the importance of of focusing on the series, which is as you've just mentioned, now quite important, but also you know, the kind of pre-World Cup stuff is now, I guess, starting to kick into gear for 2023. Um, and you're in a, you're a candidate for that. So how do you balance what is important now, which is winning this series, with I want to actually make an impression because I want to be considered for 2023? Um, I think it sort of goes hand in hand, to be honest with you. Um, if you make an impression in a series like this, um, I think automatically you'll 
all the coaches and selectors will sort of uh, look at you a bit harder, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, obviously, every anytime you get an opportunity to play, um, well, for me personally, you've got your eye on, on the 2023 World Cup and hopefully being involved there. Um, but yeah, I mean, a series like this is, um, for me, a, it's, it's a really good platform, uh, like I mentioned earlier, to firstly, hopefully get some consistent game time and put some performances together. And I think if... Um, if you are able to do that, then um, going forward, uh, especially like I mentioned for the 2023-2023 World Cup, um, I think you'll you'll be looked at um, based on on what you're able to do in series like this, where you are given an opportunity. Because um, yeah, obviously going down the line, India coming here, um, I think there's another couple of other series against some big nations um, coming up. Uh, opportunity might not be so easy to come by um, to get into the starting eleven. So. Yeah, for me, this is this is a really important um, series just to hopefully show what I can do. Dennis? Well, I was wondering if um, power hitting was, was something that you've worked on a bit. Um, and, and if so, how, how did you work on that? Um, and if not, what, what were the things that you did work on? Um, yeah, I think power hitting has been a bit of a discussion with the, the coaches and selectors and stuff um, in, in the past. Uh, I don't think I've ever been, I don't think I've lacked the, the sort of power game. I think it's more just about um, having a, a few more options. Uh, I've always seen myself as, as someone that can score boundaries and that quite freely, but I think it's about understanding that, um, especially when you come up to international cricket, your boundary options might not uh, be as frequently as uh, available as uh, in domestic cricket. So um, I wouldn't say there's been a massive effort uh, from my side in terms of uh, power hitting in itself, but it's more just about um, uh, working on, on my power game in, in options that I'm maybe not, uh, not as accustomed to. So that's something that I worked on quite a lot in the winter, just accessing different areas and, and making sure that, um, yeah, like I mentioned, if my sort of go-to areas are blocked up, um, that there are other options that I have. Um, and yeah, that's that's something that I worked quite a lot with with the coach on over over the course of the last winter. Um, Tabisa, followed by Amir, and then Tarek. Okay, thank you, Spogazi, and good morning to everyone. Carla, I just wanted to know how much do you know about about the Netherlands, about this team? Have you had a look at their bowlers? What are you expecting from them? I think it's pretty much a, a similar team to what they had at the T Twenty World Cup. So you know, for someone like myself who wasn't there, I watched quite a bit of that. Um, so you sort of have a, a gauge of what you're coming up against. And then there, there's a couple of guys that I've, or, uh, someone like Glover, for example, I played with him uh, at under 19 level, so I know him. And there's a guy like Colin Ackerman, I played a bit against domestically. So there's one or two familiar faces, but also um, just being able to watch them in the World Cup is sort of, um, for myself at least, uh, given an opportunity to um, sort of know what we're going to come up against. Uh Good morning, Cal, and good morning, colleagues. Thank you for the opportunity. Cal, just in terms of uh, your role uh, within the team in this series, obviously with an eye towards India later in December, have you had any chats with the head coach or management staff about what your role will be? And also just tell us what your approach is to this uh, series. Uh, yeah, we've only really uh, had one training session. I think today is going to be our, our sort of big hard training session before um, before the series starts. So. Um, yeah, there's been obviously on a team team point of view a couple of chats about how we want to go about things, but I think uh, later today we'll probably sit down um, each individually with the coach and just uh, get a better understanding of what's expected for us in this series and, and sort of the role um, that we can expect to play. Um, but yeah, like, like I mentioned for myself going forward uh, in this series, it's just hopefully about getting uh, consistent game time and using that as a platform to um, yeah, hopefully show the, the coach and the selectors what I'm about. Awesome, and thank you. We'll close with Tyre. How's it, um, what's Obviously, up? what's happening? Uh, obviously, Toom is not there, so you there's no foot volley. Um, is there anything that Sherman has brought? Is, is there anything that uh, Sherman has brought to the party? Seeing, seeing that I see that he's he's part of the the, the fitness staff. Yeah, I think. Uh, Sherman's uh, quite big into his football, so I was expecting a full-on footy match uh, yesterday in the warm-ups, but uh, I think it being his first day, I think he was a bit nervous uh, to uh, let us play football and have a couple of guys injured. So, yeah, I know uh, nothing special in the warm-ups from him yet, um, 
but yeah, Sherman's always got something up his sleeve. So I'm sure when we get out today, there'll be, be something interesting uh, waiting for us. <laughs> And um, just for everyone's notes, it's um, Sherwin Bakis, yes. who is the Sherman. trainer of, um, of the Cobras usually. He's one of the um, new additions that have been brought in as um, cover, while some of the members of um, the regular management team are rested. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. Um, and we will see you tomorrow at our pre-match press conference with Tabay Shamsi. Sweet. Thank you, Sports. Thank you. Thank you.